don't be too hard on this team. They, yes, they did lose a game to Portland. They are, I believe, 12 and 6. They are fifth in the NBA right now out of all teams. Currently sitting right behind, if I'm not mistaken, and that's, of course, the Celtics. I can find the picture. It's Celtics, Cavs, Warriors, Thunders, Rockets. Yeah. Which is pretty good considering OKC and goes up and they're ahead of us. So, yes. I mean, I mean Cavs are 17 and 1, Celtics are 14 and 3 in the NBA champions. So, it's really good company to be up there with. Um, I like what I see, bro. I like what I see. I mean, defensively, it's been pretty good. That's why I like what I see. Like, Offense will always struggle, but your defense is always going to be effort. So, like, that's why I think we'll be okay. I read something earlier. I, I, actually, it's a lie. I didn't read the whole article. But the title of it was Prioritize Development Over <clears throat> Accelerating the Rebuild, and You'll Be Much Better Off. And I agree with that. Like, just because we have shit to trade doesn't necessarily mean that we should fucking go do it. Because how you lose one game and now everybody wants to blow the team up. Yeah, it it to me it feels like most of the fans that are wanting to blow the team up are quote unquote casual fans that haven't really been watching the games. I, I know fans when they talk in our comments and everything that you can tell they watch highlights. Oh, I watched the highlights of this game, or I watched pieces of it. But if you didn't watch first through the fourth. The whole way, you're missing critical parts of games and for players of what they did. Because I can look at a stat sheet and be like, oh, Dan, this dude had a good game. Or, Dan, that guy didn't really do much. But if, like, Reed Shepard, for instance, dude plays defense. Like, he yeah. he knows switch defense. He knows all this well. So his stats aren't going to be impressive. Like, they compare him to other rookies right now. And I'm like, you can't do I that. I think he like, had two blocks and two steals in a game the other day. Yeah. It, two blocks at guard. Like, that's crazy. Yes. Um, a lot of eyes, of course, have been on our boy Jalen Green. Um, he's – he 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 has his moments where he's really good. Fourth quarter Jalen Green is, is something different, though. Fourth quarter Jalen Green, dude can light it up and – I'm just going to piggyback off what you said. Like, I fucking watch the game. Like, I not only watch the games, I pay attention to the games. I'm very aware of what's going on within the game. So, like, when when Jalen is doing bad, like, the past two or three times he's doing bad, I told you very fucking early, he's tired. Like he doesn't have legs, right? Yeah. So, like, that's not crazy to believe because this is the first time Jalen played both sides of the ball. Like, he's actually playing defense. Right, and he's running an offense. You're gonna get tired, so I don't knock him for that. I really don't. Yeah, I mean, it it feels what maybe three games he played really well. Then, like the last two games, he kind of struggled. Well, the last one for sure he struggled, but the whole team struggled. Um, yes. Five games and seven nights. A team that you but that's what I want to get people to do is stop thinking like that. Like he did one good game, two good game, bad thing. Because then you're gonna nitpick him. You're gonna nitpick Singu. Let's keep it real. Singoon pisses everybody off, and he's either gonna shoot you to a lead or shoot you to a deficit. Right. The unfortunate yeah. part is Jalen always is the first one they rely on to try to get us out of it. Like that's what we should look at. Not he had one because Singoon had a monster game the other day, and he pissed me off the whole time. So it don't fucking mean nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's the context of the game because uh, you did really good, but a man Thompson did just as good, and he didn't do anything wrong. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we can't do who did good, who did bad. It's like, yeah. all right, Jalen has a role on this team, an identifiable role. Am I not correct? Yes. No, I, I agree. Think, I what's agree. the problem? Because he's doing it. Like, he's, he's scoring. He's playing defense. He facilitates when he can. You know what I'm saying? Like it, I, just, I think what it is is you get, and it's 
crazy because I wouldn't think that you and me would be the only ones that do this and would be pretty much on his side only from watching the games, but we are. And it, it just amazes me how critical people are. I get it. It's year four. It's fucking November. Yes. It, it's November. Um, legit, there has been games, like if you're nitpicking players, you're trying to pick and choose between the two still. And Yes, that's so exactly what's games. going on, bro. Yes. It, it'll so, always be that way, unfortunately. Yeah, and it's for us, it's like I'm going to nitpick the player itself because it's like, can you be more efficient? Of course. But I also see what you do. For We already figured out how Ime works. If Ime yeah. doesn't agree with what the fuck you're doing, you're going to the bench. And he's done that with all of them this whole season. Yes. If There's you don't have energy, games. you're going to the bench. If you don't have effort, you're going to the bench. Like, And I'm not mad. Tari Eason played out of this fucking world for two weeks. Like, I don't think there was anybody in the NBA playing defensive bet, basketball better. He had a game the other day where he just didn't have the energy. Hey, where'd you start this game over there? Go back, right? Yeah. You can't hate it. That's another thing is Jalen set his fucking ego aside. He's playing team basketball. And who? How the fuck? Does, I don't understand why people won't get behind this dude. It the hate is for real. I mean, you got people wanting to trade him today, trade him for whatever, trade him for this guy. If trade anybody's him for wondering, guy. not to cut you off, why? We're talking about Jalen being hated on is because I somebody in the sauna at the gym today who didn't know anybody on the team's name tried to tell me Jalen was bad, right? Yeah. That, it's a good, that, that's kind of why I wanted to, I, I felt the need to stick up for Jalen. Yeah, he, he. I mean, we have the numbers of players. I mean, bar with it. Like, players that he's kind of related to, players that he's been asked to be traded for by fans. I mean, of course, Zach Levine, Cade Cunningham will always be in the same name with him. Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. I mean, way less games. I mean, here's how I see it. If you were going to, if ideally you were going to fucking make a trade and trade Jalen Green, you would want to upgrade the position, right? Yes. It's not too much more feasible to say you're going to upgrade the two guard position more than Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, right? Like that's the creme de la Unless it's like Jalen Brown or Jimmy Butler or something. Yeah. He his, he's not there with them, but he's really close. You know what I'm saying? To your yeah. point, look at the effective field goal percentage. He's at a 49, 52, 52. So he's a little bit behind him. Hence the fact he's about five points behind. And you know what I'm saying? So look, there's an idea, an identifiable problem. Like you said, shoot the ball a little better, be more effective. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like one less three, one more go to the basket or something. So yeah. he, like it just doesn't make sense to me to trade him for an upgrade when your upgrade is not that much better. That agreed. makes sense. No, you agree. I, mean? I mean, I look at the numbers and it, it's, it's not that these are feasible players at some point. Donovan Mitchell is probably untouchable right now as they're 17 and one, but I'm not trading for something that is based uh, trading a freaking Hyundai for a Honda. Like it's, it's nothing too crazy. Like there people are making it sound like you're getting just a maximum upgrade of it. I mean, it, it's really not. It, it really is. It, it's, I, and then you're giving you away get, more. To, you might get a little bit of more like leadership value from like a Donovan Mitchell, but like, I'm not willing to blow up the team for the little bit more you give me. I just really ain't. Yeah. That I, that's just where I'm kind of like, as far as fans, I feel like the the fact that oh Jalen, it, it's we're done with this. Oh, we need to be done with him. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I don't get it. Like I, it I really me don't. off even more. And this is no disrespect to Jalen or Singoon that we see here time after time defending Jalen and having to shit on Singoon when he's our own player. And I actually don't think either one of those motherfuckers are the best player on the team. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. A man Thompson is the most talented player on this team. The dude just does everything fucking right. I love watching him play basketball. I really do. Amazing. He's a athletic. He's – <laughs> he doesn't the other, make day, the other day when we came out against Portland, we started the game really bad. They were running full court press right from the jump ball. 
and we were getting stupid bored because we couldn't get it. And I said, hey, they're going to put him in Thompson in this game, and he's going to speed the pace. And sure as fuck they did, and he caught us back up. Like The dude is so good. He's so, so good. He could play any position. They're like, fuck, I'd be willing to trade anybody, but that dude's untouchable to me. Him and Tari, stupid yeah. fucking nickname, but great duo. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, man, to me, it's just, I, I feel like, sadly, we're always going to have this Shingun Jalen comparison, even with fans not admitting that they're doing it. Let me tell you why I'm not worried about it. So if you look in my, I've been saying for like two years, bro, in my heart, I truly believe that the Houston Rockets have more talent than the Oklahoma City Thunder. Like, player for player, I believe us to be more talented, minus the fact that they have an SGA. He's, he's yeah. just like that good, right? Yeah. My point is, is they figured it out because they've got reps in together. Like, they've been playing meaningful basketball together. We're just now starting. I believe in my heart that the Rockets are going to get more primetime games, more games of importance, and there's going to be an opportunity – down the stretch when we're trying to get that play in or lock in our actual spot or something where the team is going to, somebody on this team is going to be required to take the lead. And I believe Jalen or Sangoon will separate themselves in that instance. And then we won't have to have this conversation anymore. Yeah. It's interesting. Cause you look at the way that when they, they play, I mean, as fans, not many fans really care for the NBA cup too much. But this Rockets team does, like Jabari said, we don't, we haven't played for much. We we yeah. never played for anything as far as NBA wise, and so this is the first thing they can play, and they've been pretty much dominant so far in the Cup games, uh, running the scores up for their their seating and everything else. Like it, they just play different. Those are like kind of little playoff practice games for them, and, and they play a little bit better and everything. It, it's. It's interesting because I do feel as we go further into the season and more in January, February towards All Star Week, you'll we will start to see a differential of it. From what I've seen, I could tell you what the more natural closer on the team is Jalen Green. Jalen's more comfortable. He closes out quarters. He closes out half. Like at the end of games, like when it's tight, uh, the team just seems more comfortable with him and the ball. There's been games he won it for us. There's been games where he's taking bad shots. I mean, but even Fred smoked one the other day. My point is, is I think that might help Jalen in the long run because people remember those big shots at the end, you know? Yeah. and I mean, and the thing with him is what they put his numbers up the other day. He's in the top five and fourth quarter points in the league. Like fourth quarter comes in, he's like, Go, just go. No disrespect to Sangoon. I'm not trying to jinx Jalen or say he's a bad, more clutch player. I'm just saying, Sangoon, you're not clutch at all. Like, yes. you took a bad, you had two bad possessions to end the Portland game the other day in the L. Like, you smoked that play against Milwaukee at the end. You just see the way that the ball sticks in your hand don't help us at well, in a close one. And I, I feel like the thing that with me with Sangoon is. Like, we are critical of everybody. Yes. And when he does his certain things that piss us off, it's like, dude, I, w- I would have said the same thing for Tari. I would have said the same thing for Jalen. I would have said anybody. I don't care. But I'm not going to pro- defend you. The, the, that's the point. Is The reason people hate on us hating on Zangoon is because it's, it sounds like a broken fucking record because we complain about the same thing over and over. But that's because he doesn't change it. He don't fix it. Bro, how many times do I scream at the TV, get ready to shoot this, and then he gets the ball, and I'll be like, shoot it. Like, if I see it coming, how do you not? Like, you know the ball's about to swing to you. Get ready to shoot. You will pump fake and then take a bad three. This is stupid. People were like, he had 22 points in the Portland game. He had zero three-pointers. He was open. He didn't take any of them. And it was like, when people were like, oh, he led the team. No, he didn't. No, he fucking did it. If you watched the game, you know who kept us in that game, and it wasn't him. Yes, he had a point, and it helped to get to that part. But if you count those two bad possessions where the ball went to him, 
didn't touch anybody else for 18 mm -hmm. seconds, mm -hmm. and then a terrible wannabe throw up, layup, whatever the fuck he wants to call it. And, and he then tried to dirt, and then she got it locked. Yeah. I was like, come on, dog. Like, I was like, this is even like you could tell Fred's face was like, are you yeah. kidding? Me? Like, are you fucking shit? Shout, shout out to Dylan Brooks. He's balling right now. Yeah. Dylan Brooks is a G right now. I, I just, I said, that, that's I, I what I'm saying. All... The team is playing good. It actually is playing good. Yeah. In my and opinion, like, if, if, like, expectations being realistic, like, you're playing really. Well, not even bring them down, but like well, realize that you're 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 a team on the rise. You're not fucking the 2017 Golden State Warriors where you're supposed to hit every shot every night and blow everybody out. You know what I'm saying? You're not going for 73. You hope you could get to 47, 48, and fucking make the playoffs. Yeah, it, and, and I it's I don't know. I think for me, like when I say expectations need to be lowered, I think it's people's expectations of these players of when Fair they enough. compare the stuff like because I, I just feel like if you're over here thinking like damn Jalen Green should be Donovan Mitchell by now yes huh Donovan as of today has played 485 games compared to Jalen's 243 like oh he's supposed to be Devin Booker Devin Booker's played 614 games yeah but also like if they don't make a playoff team or uh yeah uh all-star team or whatever it doesn't mean anything there's like seven or eight monster fucking guards in the west that he has to compete with it's not that big a deal yeah we know the all-stars are fan based anyway like yes fucking, don't mean, get me wrong if we stay in the top three or four i would be shocked if we don't have an all-star to be honest yeah. but I, something tells me it's probably going to be singoon Yes. Which I don't hate that. I'm not saying he don't have all-star numbers. What I'm saying is, is people have to realize Singoon has no more of a right to try to be the central focus of our offense any more than Jalen does, in my yeah. opinion. And I, I kind of feel like they've not figured it out, but they kind of see that when they're not – because they're not arguing anymore. They're kind of just like, hey, talking to each other on the side – and as fans, fans tend to look at him like, oh, they're 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 arguing, they're doing this. But that's good basketball. You want your players to disagree and talk about what's going on in the court. If they weren't doing that, it'd be kind of pissed the hell off. Like, true. And so I, I think, know, bro, I feel like it'll always be. It's just like Boston, bro. You had the Jalen Brown, Tatum comps. Yeah. We just haven't had the opportunity. To, anybody who watched Boston for the longest always knew Tatum was one, Jalen was two. In my opinion, like yes. it always played Easy. that way out from the rip. You know what I'm saying? Because but they had the opportunity to show it, and yeah. and the Rockets just haven't yet. So let's find out. Fuck around and find out, Houston. Like get into some meaningful basketball and let's see who's going to carry the team. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, we know who you are. We know we know what to expect from you. You know what I'm saying? You just have to hope your defense covers the bullshit that we do on offense because our defense is elite. Yes. That they, that Ime Udoka defense is really good right now. If you have not caught a Rodgers team. I, look, I fucking hate Ryan Hollins. Like, hate's a strong word. I don't believe him to be our announcer. Like, I, you don't belong here. You didn't play for us. I don't respect what you say. You get on my nerves. Your haircut's stupid. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But he, he, I told you that he said one thing, and I was like, it's the first time I agreed with this motherfucker. He said every night, Houston wants to come out there slugging round for round because they know nobody could go deep as them and play that way. And I was like, that's fucking true. Like, you can go 14 deep. And be like, fuck, these motherfuckers don't stop moving. They don't stop pushing. They don't stop running. You know what I mean? So I like that. It reminds me of like like the Memphis grind teams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the star power. But like we get nasty with it. It's, it's fun. I mean, I feel like those two are going to figure it out very soon. Um, a little more than they are. I mean, they're still year two in email Doka system, people. Calm the hell down. Shout out to everybody else, though, because everybody else is playing exceptionally well. Yeah. Balling. Steven Adams, keep getting healthy, bro, because I like you out there. I like Jock Landale out there. 
He's doing great too. I love it. He is. Yeah. I like having the the choice of my centers um out there. Jabari, phenomenal. I have no that dude is fucking hooping. I don't know why people hate him. Like they don't hate him, but they're just like he's already feels like to the people who don't watch the games that he's a throwaway. Because they compare him to they're trying to compare him to Paulo and that's a totally different player. Yeah. Like even even Paulo's oh, numbers wouldn't be that great on our team just because the opportunity's not there. But I've seen Jabari carry us for a half for three quarters. Do you know what I mean? It's the same way as fans that have not watched Reed Shepard play, and they're trying to say that we shouldn't have drafted him. We should have got homeboy from the Lakers and homeboy from the 76ers. If you put Reed Shepard in those situations, that dude's balling. Yes. Like, watch a damn game. Watch a game from first to fourth. Don't get on your phone. Don't sit there and and switch the channels. Watch the whole damn game. And you will see how good they are. Like, this team is legit. Like, this is – you have people all around the country being like, hey, the Rockets, you got to watch them now. Like, You don't you, make it in the – if you're this far into the season and you're still that efficient and proficient on defense, you're legit. Like, it's not an accident. Like, you could shoot your way to some bullshit – uh, notoriety, but you can't play your that much defense. Like I've seen Tari just fucking wreck a game on defense, and I was like, I love it. Yeah, my still my cookie, still your cookie, steak. Dylan Brooks knocking down three pointers and and punking folks. I fucking love it. Yeah, Goon Squad's back, Terror Twins, everything. It's all good. All right, any last minute words today? Nah, because I'm gonna keep watching basketball and. I really don't want to make a trade, to be honest with you. It better be something fucking exceptional if I have to talk about it. Like that bullshit we seen earlier with Tatum coming to Houston, it's like, no, no, no. See, the issue with a thing like that is like, if you make a splash trade like that, whoever that person comes in has to let it be known that he's the guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to shake the team up. Yeah, I feel like. I'm not willing to do that unless it's somebody who's exceptional, like a Giannis. Yeah. Yeah, that that's I mean, we have our video on that. Y'all can check it out because I do feel Giannis deserves the credibility for what he's done. But also, do we want to change the dynamic and of what we have right here? Because they've bought in. They've bought in as a whole. And See, it's I party. think the fair part is that in, in an instance like that, where it's a truly exceptional per- person, like there's four or five people. Like if you could get a fucking Giannis, a Curry, a KD, a LeBron, or something like that. There's a, there's no losing because you're yeah. stupid if you don't make the trade. But also, yeah. like, there's respect if you stay loyal to what you have. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like it. Well, we gonna find out. Um, t- Rockets' next game is the Cup game against the Timberwolves, um, where they are in first. We are in first. So. Hopefully we do good. Fred didn't get uh, suspended. He got fined 50K, so that's good. I mean, it sucks for him, but he'll just write that off. He um, makes 50 million, and we just fine. Yeah. And then, I mean, other than that, uh, enjoy y'all's Thanksgiving, guys. Have fun. Happy Thanksgiving. Keep watching them. They are very fun to watch. Good luck. We are out of here.